hello how are you guys how's everything going and you might be like this bitch is speaking english why <laughs> well i'm gonna put the subtitles here sorry excuse my english is not the best all the time sometimes it's not even good but here i am trying my best the reason why i'm doing this video in english today is because i'm gonna get my eyebrows done by nahid um she's a great artist here in vancouver and i'm gonna be getting my eyebrows done by her and i wanted you i wanted to take you guys on the journey i wanted to take you guys through all the process that we're gonna do she is a royal artist she's really really good at her job and i cannot wait to see my eyebrows today tito my husband is gonna be going with me he's gonna be on the camera as well helping with the vlog and i just hope you guys like it so let's go i still have one more hour before i go i have no makeup on whatsoever these are my natural eyebrows and i cannot do anything to my face anything because i have to go completely virgin <laughs> artist that is gonna be performing in my um, eyebrows today. I'm so excited! I'm okay. excited too! <laughs> so before I start, mm -hmm. uh, I have to inform you about the process. Mm -hmm. So should I take my mask off? If you want so to, that, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, they can lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> so the process is like, um, I'm gonna draw your eyebrows. Uh, I'm gonna numb you for 10 to 15 minutes okay. first. And then I'm gonna draw your eyebrows. When I draw your eyebrows, it's going to be with a very black pencil. Okay. Okay. And then the drawing part takes around half an hour. So we have to. We want to make sure that yeah. everything is yeah. like. So do you want to translate or it's okay? Oh no no! I'm gonna put the um, the subtitles. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after I'm done with the drawing, which it takes like half an hour. Why? Because. Uh, if I don't draw it right, then there is no point, mm -hmm. right? Um, so when I draw the uh, eyebrow for you, uh, you're gonna have a seat like that again. Okay. I'm gonna put your face to the in uh, app, a specific app, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna show you if I draw it right, I have to fix it, if they are symmetric, if they're not symmetric. And then uh, I'm gonna give you the mirror. When you take a look at your eyebrows, uh, just a heads up, the, uh, the lines kind of are dark okay. <laughs> yeah. and you will think that oh my god this is so thick this is so sharp a square this is so pointy here but it's not nothing like that because okay. we're not doing a traditional tattoo we're mm -hmm. not doing it like a uh, solid color it's just a hair mm -hmm. stroke individual uh, hair strokes and then um, after you see the shape uh, you're going to lay down and gonna, I'm going the to good start part. the process. <laughs> um, people ask me about the pain. Yeah. Uh, pain actually really, really depends on people's uh, pain tolerance. tolerance. Yeah. But uh, honestly, I never had people complaining, like mm -hmm. saying, oh my God, I wish I never came. This uh, never happened to me. I actually had people who were so sensitive telling me, I wish I knew that it's not that painful. Yeah. You know, I was so stressed out because of the pain. You put so much numbing, I didn't realize. But I'm gonna give you a heads up. Only like maybe 30 to 40 seconds each eyebrows, you're gonna feel some sensation. Okay. After, uh, and that's because the numbing cream only works on the surface. And I'm scratching your mm -hmm. uh, eyebrows. Um, so you're gonna feel something that's why the first pass 
it's gonna be a little painful and then after uh, I'm done with the uh, skeleton of your eyebrows then I'm gonna put another numbing cream you're not gonna feel anything until the end that's why it, our session is not going to be only eyebrows it's gonna be lots of fun because you don't feel anything I'm gonna you're gonna have a lot of time to have fun and laugh of course talk about our personal stuff you know yeah <laughs> but I'm doing serious stuff. <laughs> and time flies so fast you're yeah. not gonna even feel the two hours I said I think I'm done with my explanation I, I uh, remember something I didn't mention so your eyebrows are dark yes almost black mm -hmm. okay uh, so we cannot um, use the right like light color mm -hmm. this is my color chart if you want to oh yeah yes okay right? interesting so for you I never use black for anyone. Oh, this is black yeah Oh, because it, it doesn't look like black, no, black it here. Is black. It is black. Okay. I mm -hmm. never use black for anybody. Mm -hmm. That's why um, for you, I'm going to only use the brown tree today. Okay. Okay. You came back for your touch up and you told me it's light. You know, mm. I think I can go a little bit darker. Then on your touch up, I can use just one drop of black to make you happy. What's the color you have on? Um, br a brown tree. Okay, because I like it. The it doesn't thing, look the, red. Yeah. That's why I like it. Like for my color, <gasps> whatever I use mm -hmm. is fee pigments. It's pure fee pigments. I'm okay. going to show you. I'm not using anything else. These are all fee pigments. Okay. I never use any other pigments except the fee pigments. It's yeah. the best. Okay. So don't worry. Good. <laughs> then we, we have the best of the best. All right, everybody. So what i'm doing right now so what she did it was she put the num numbing cream so yes and i don't feel anything really at the beginning i felt a little bit of like um burning sensation but not burning because it's not burning like stingy stingy <laughs> yes but then we're waiting for that to work and then she's gonna come back and we're gonna do the measurements right and this is showing me that both eyebrows are in the same lane mm -hmm. here this, yes this one perfect okay and the beginning are the same the beginning here are the same and then when I do this you see the red line oh they're exactly on the same line and then when I put it up wow everything is beautiful symmetric. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Yeah, one of them is not high, one of them is not low. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we are almost done with her eyebrows. But I'm going to use this cooling method. I put a little bit of color and the numbing cream on her eyebrows. Show your eyebrows. And then I bought I grabbed this from freezer. So it's very cooling. Oh, it's nice. So it's gonna make the eyebrow to cool down a little bit. Oh, that feels so nice. <laughs> Okay, VIP treatment here. Exactly, VIP treatment. <laughs> she was so nice. We had so much laughter <laughs> and so much fun together. Oh yeah. And don't worry about this color. It's just a <laughs> color. Yeah. It's just something. It's your, not the color of my eyebrows. If your brain is freezing, let me know. Okay. I have no words. It's like I'm, I'm shocked. So uh, we are done with your eyebrows. What I need you to be aware is about the after you know, the healing uh, process. Mm -hmm. The healing process is like the first day, which is today. They look perfect, but they, of course they are a little bit dark. Tomorrow they're going to be even more darker. 
the day after tomorrow even more darker. Oh, really? Why? Because your skin is healing itself. We just put some color inside it so a new layer of skin needs to come and form and make the, these strokes waterproof. Okay. So some pigments that are in the surface, they're going to go away. Those that are in it, in the skin, they're going to stay in the skin. Mm -hmm. That's why those excess of pigments, when they're leaving your skin, you're going to feel like, oh my God, every nano brows are coming off i i didn't know it's gonna be like that it's you're gonna panic you're like oh my god so much money i spent they're all gone <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's normal it happens for everybody after 20 25 days when your skin is fully healed then the strokes are coming back okay but when they come back they're not like the first day they're going to be a little bit um, like patchy, some areas more darker, some areas less less uh, color, some areas completely gone, especially the uh, tail. Okay. Because tail has very, very thin skin. And uh, it's like more likely that it's going to get rid of all colors okay. faster. Mm -hmm. But you're going to see something like left here and left there. They're not going to be perfect because that's why you need to come for your for touch up. It's touch. mandatory. For lips, I don't force clients to come back for touch up. It's like if you like the color, it's going to last you for another year or two. You can come back after one year for lips. But this one, you have to come back after four weeks. Okay. Okay. Bueno. No, this is uh, oh, the, the vlog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been two hours. Yes. An hour and a half, two hours. Okay. I look, a I look so weird without makeup, but that's fine. I'm happy. Still have in English. Yeah, it's it's gonna be in English. Okay. I'm gonna do subtitles. All right. So, it's been. An hour and a half, two hours after. Um, so right after the procedure, I I felt like um, how do you say stingy, stingy, sting? Yeah. Like it, it burned. It's, it was stingy. Yeah, well, like like a, a stingy. Like it was a stingy, yeah. Yeah, uh, sensation, but right now it's just uh, going away. Uh, Nahid said that um, they look darker way darker than what it's gonna look like after three days and after they settle um, so it's darker now yes oh, okay, so it's gonna be a little bit softer in yeah. color okay. just like the, the tattoo right yeah. so I'm so happy you guys I'm so happy with the results I still have to go back uh, for my touch-up after six four four to six weeks um, but I love it. I love it. Procedure took about two hours and a half, but it's usually two hours. But because we were filming, um, we were talking, it was a really, really fun time. She's amazing. First impression, I cannot recommend her enough. Like you're gonna have an amazing time. She gave me chocolates. It's it's insane. <laughs> she gave me chocolates, and I don't know. I think that's a really that's a really thoughtful thing to do for your clients. And she just goes above and beyond to make her make you feel comfortable and to make you feel great. So so far so good. I'm loving my eyebrows. So here I am. I want to share with you guys something that I have to do like every two hours after I get the first um, the first session. I get to do like I have to do something that I'm gonna share with you right now for two like every two hours I have to. I don't remember the name of this liquid, but I'm just gonna put it right here um, when I just read everything. And what I have to do is clean them a little bit. Now he'd explain it to me that you have to do that just so your skin doesn't get too dry and it can actually breathe from the trauma that has um, suffered because you know, it's like a tattoo process and um, 
so the skin gets like whoa what are you doing to me so this is gonna help to refresh um, the skin so what we need to do is just like apply a little bit of, uh, I just don't know the proper name for uh, these but, but I know they're special because they won't have like any excess of anything so what you have to do is just every two hours and then tomorrow three times a day so in the morning lunch time and dinner time and this feels so good when you put it on it feels really refreshing and it feels super nice but i'm very very happy that i went with her she's so professional she's such a nice person like she's a sunshine she's really really nice um super super careful with what i wanted she knows her thing so much she knows what she's doing and you're just in good hands i'm sure you're gonna love her and her work and yeah there's nothing i can say about these eyebrows go with her if you need um either like any microblading technique she also does the um, eyeliner. She does the lip blush. That is something that I'm dying to do because it's so, so nice. And um, she also does the lash lifting. So worth every penny. I'm really, really happy that I chose her to do my eyebrows. Like I'm gonna have this for like, what, two, three years? So yeah, you have to think about it, but um, you have to make sure that you choose the right person to do this because it's your face, it's your frame, it's your freaking eyebrow. So it's a big deal. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to say goodbye and then I'm just going to see you guys tomorrow in the morning um, just to touch base with you. Love you all. Bye.